In this example, a company finds that its profit in dollars for producing X unit of a product in one week is given by P of X equals negative 2X squared plus 1600X if the company is set up so that no more than 500 units can be manufactured in any one week, how many units did the company produce to maximize profit? Key term is the profit, maximize, optimize the profit. The P is the profit function as negative 2x squared plus 1600x. This is the continuous function. And the part that said no more than 500 units can be manufactured that represent the interval of the x value since x is the unit produced. This one means x between 0 and 500 as from the closed interval for our case. That's my profit refer to absolute maximum profit on the closed interval 0, 500. This way we can see that the A in different colors. So this is A, A is 0, B is 500, and the function Px that given is Px equals negative 2 x squared plus 1600 times x. Then we are going to find x that give the absolute maximum profit on a given interval, we go with the process that procedures that step number one, we're gonna find the critical value. And step number two, we are going to compute the function value at the left end, at the right end, and at the critical value C that we're gonna find out from step one. And after that, in the last step, we are going to see what is the largest and what is the, the lowest um, to give us the absolute max and absolute min. But this one, we look for the x that provide the absolute maximum that we're going to take just the maximum quantity. All right. So let's start with the other uh, way to find the critical value. To find the critical value, <clears throat> we take the derivative of the profit function to get negative 4x plus 1600. And this is polynomial function. It's continuous everywhere. So it can be defined all over in the domain. So we do not have to worry about the case that the P prime is undefined. So this one is out. So we look at the case that the P prime is zero and solve for x. So subtract 1600 both sides and divided by negative four. So we get x equals 1600 divided by four. It comes out to be 400. We got the critical value 400 or you can use the notation C as the critical value. To verify is 400 between the left and the right end. Yes, the left end is zero. The right end is 500. The 400 is somewhere in between. Yes, we keep the 400. So the next step, we are going to find the function value at each, each um, point. So f at 0, we plug it in. Negative 2 times 0 squared plus 1600 times 0 turns out to be 0. This is the function p, sorry, so p and p. And then the next one, the same thing, negative 2 times 500 squared plus 1600 times 500. And the next one is the profit at 400. And we just put in a calculator real quick. Let's see what we get. After putting it in the calculator, we get P at 500 as 300,000. And P at 400, which is negative 2 times 400, squared plus 1600 times 400 equals 320,000. And after we got all three numbers, we can see that the maximum one, the maximum profit occurs at, at equals 400. Say this is the largest.
quantity, which is the maximum profit. We can say that the maximum profit occurs at x equals 400 or at the production level of 400 items. <laughs> 